Today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY lip balm. Here are the materials that you are going to need. Petroleum jelly, which is the same thing as Vaseline, so you can use that as well, which I bought at the dollar store. Beeswax, which I have in this block form. Coconut oil, which is hardened when it is cold and it's the winter, so yeah. Now let's get started! First, I'm taking one tablespoon of petroleum jelly and putting that into my container, which I have previously made lip balms in so it doesn't look very clean. Now I'm taking half a tablespoon of coconut oil and putting that in my jar. And third, I'm taking my beeswax, which is very hard, and I'm using, yes, a nail file to shred it down, which, I'm sorry, but don't worry, I sterilize it so it's clean. And I am shredding it down, which was very hard, and my hand hurt a lot. Uh, but finally, when I managed to do that, I took two tablespoons of it and put that into my container as well. Now, I'm sorry for the awkward position, but I am lighting candles, which I made uh which I made in previous in a previous video which you can watch and I didn't want I changed the position of the camera because I didn't want it getting in the way because I was working with fire and now here are my candles <laughs> and I'm taking my lip balm which at this point might look like somebody threw up in and I'm putting it onto my flame and you don't want to put it directly on top like that you want to put it at an angle like this so that you don't deprive the wick of its oxygen which it needs in order to burn. And once everything's fully melted, it will be very hot so please be careful. You can add in your coloring which you can use either crayons or lipstick. And, but I didn't want to use any because I wanted to leave mine plain. And now I'm using this nifty pill container which I've made previous lip balms in as you can see. And I'm going to be putting my lip balm that I just made in the third compartment of the lip of the pill container. Now these days you don't really know what's in your lip balm and I really like that I'm, you can make your own at home and it's really this easy because this way you can change the quantities and adjust it to the way you like it. So now I'm filling it up and you want to let this sit for maybe 10 to 15 minutes at room temperature or 5 minutes in the fridge which it's really fast and once it's fully hardened this is what it looks like. This is a very nice moisturizing lip balm and I hope you all try it. Thanks for watching.